Hey everyone, welcome back. Last time I did a vlog type video, I got great response from a lot of you guys and some really specific feedback that really helped me. So I've decided to upload another vlog style video. Now if you remember in the Stabber vlog, I talked about having just completed Heavy Drone Operation 5, which opened up the ability for me to use Tech 2 Heavy Drones. Because of that, I've been exploring fits and ships that utilize Heavy Drones. And I remembered back to a video that I really enjoyed and inspired me, made by God's Apples. It focused on the 100mn afterburner Vexor Navy issue. Oversized afterburners in general are an interesting concept. You trade fitting resources and agility for sustained speed. I think this is especially useful for the solo pilot with the current prevalence of links, as well as the popularity of Tech 3 destroyers and now command destroyers. The combination of all these things mean that in a micro warp drive fit, you're likely going to get scrammed at some point during a fight, and this limits your ability to disengage and leave the fight when needed. Oversized afterburners do give you some amount of disengageability as well as mobility during a fight, even under scrams, and that's one of the largest benefits to going with an oversized afterburner fit. The Vexor Navy in particular is a great platform for oversized afterburners because its damage system doesn't rely on the agility of your ship. Since drones tracking and optimal range are independent of your ship's position and velocity, you're able to more freely utilize the oversized afterburner as an escape method or to gain some mobility on the battlefield. Also, because oversized propulsion systems use a lot more fitting requirements than you would usually have, you're generally going to be more limited in your weapon system. However, since the Vexor Navy is a drone boat, its highs are mainly used for utility, which opens up the doors for things like drone link augmenters or energy neutralizers for capacitor warfare. Oversized afterburners also open up the door for utility in your mids. Since you have sustained speed and your drones generally apply quite well to your targets, a web really isn't that necessary. Choosing to go with a long point and a short point opens up the door to flexibility. This allows you to engage however you see fit, whether you choose to kite out and just long point your opponent, or go in close for a scram to shut off your opponent's micro warp drive. Now all in all, the fit that I've been playing with is only about 100 million ISK. So it's pretty cheap and affordable for the amount of targets that I'm able to engage. Because of that, I've been working towards making a more traditional PvP video. The more traditional montage-esque style. I plan on making this video focus on oversized propulsion systems across a couple of different ship types. And the fights that I've been showing in the background here are just some of the fights that I thought were really fun and interesting, but didn't necessarily develop into anything concrete, and so probably won't be in the final product. All in all, I've been having a lot of fun playing around with these oversized propulsion fits, and I'm looking forward to putting out a full PvP video that's aside from the more instructional content that I've been creating. I've been having a lot of fun exploring this new area of piloting for me, and learning through a lot of the challenges that come with it. As always, feel free to comment and let me know what you liked or disliked. If you like these vlog style videos, let me know so that I can create more of them in the future. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more EVE content.